Okay, uh, today we want to talk about microphones. Microphones are many, many types of microphones. The ordeal is that there are different applications. Now, when is it that you need a microphone for? Okay, uh, let's say you, if you want to sing, that it, there is a type of microphone. If there is going to be only talking or dialogue, there is a type of microphone. Uh, in order to capture uh, background uh, sounds, there is a type of microphone. So, depending the application that you actually going to work on it, that's the microphone that you want actually, or you will prefer to utilize. And um, to start, let's let's go and uh, let me scroll right here. Okay. Let's exactly what is a micro what actually a microphone does, okay? Uh, a, the microphone it picks up any audio or any sounds in general. And if we go and we talk more into how the microphone is built, it has a, a small a small diaphragm that it vibrates with when sound comes to it. For example, I'm going to pick this microphone right here. And this microphone right here has a diaphragm right inside. So when I talk, you know, right onto the microphone, this diaphragm, it just vibrates and notes and it turns into electrical uh, uh, communication. The amplifier or equipment, it will turn that in and decode the, the electrical pulses into audio waves. So that's how a microphone works. So we need to be very careful and to treat microphones because um, they are very susceptible for that diagram to just be uh, broke. If we drop the microphone, that they are microphones, they are designed to be, you know, very hard, you know, in the way you uh, care for them. You can drop them, you can kick them. And I seen in uh, in concerts that they just they just drop the mic, and, and they don't really care if the microphone will get ruined uh, as soon as they pick it up, and that doesn't work anymore. But we need to be very careful and not to drop a microphone. We need to make sure that we grab that very secure on our hands uh, or hand uh, in order for not to have any accidents. So uh, sound waves, that is what actually this is, is capturing and going to an amplifier or an audio recorder. Very, uh, there are three types of microphones, okay? Dynamic microphones, condenser microphones, and ribbon, ribbon microphones. Uh, in class, we have dynamic microphones and condenser microphones when it comes to those two types. Uh, ribbon microphones are utilized on a studio recordings. Those microphones are so expensive, and, um, and those I don't think so. We could just be afford to have at least one in here. But they are uh, designed for such a detail on the audio capturing and very, very carefully manufactured for frequencies to capture when uh, it comes to recording that particular voices, especially for voice. Okay? So, um, when, it, when utilizing it, will be only on very expensive uh, studio recordings situations. Um, we can have one of those, like I said, but we have similar microphones, okay? Condenser microphone and, uh, and we have a, what is a dynamic, okay? Uh, this mic right here, 
this one can be a dynamic microphone. And the, the, and the reason is because there can be utilized for almost any application, for talking or singing. Uh, in my work, you know, if I want to capture audio as an environment, uh, sounds only, but it might not cover every frequencies that I want. Okay, so this can be a dynamic microphone. This right here, this one, is a condenser microphone. Uh, remember that we talked a few days ago about the voltage uh, or electricity the microphones needs to work. So this is one of those microphones. They utilize 48 volts or call phantom power. Uh, the camera needs to have phantom power in order to work. Or the audio uh, soundboard that we're going to be utilizing with, it needs to have a 48 volt phantom power as well. Okay, so this is a condenser microphone. Condenser mic. How many volts a condenser microphone uses? How many volts? Come on, someone. I just said that. 48 volts is what this microphone actually needs in order to work. Now, this one is another type of condenser microphone. This one right here. This one is especially for audio or podcasting, audio uh, for um, dialogue only, this one here. Similar to a ribbon microphone, but one affordable one. So this is a condenser used for a studio for forecasting. Uh, and then we have, we have, um, let's uh, scroll in here. And then we have um, the type of microphones that records in, the, in a different way, okay? Cardio microphones. This is, like I mentioned to you, the capsule or diaphragm on the microphone is designed in a certain shape. So this one right here, this one is a cardio microphone, unidirectional. Unidirectional means that I don't have to point it exactly to the subject that I want to be heard, but the microphone will, this one, it will capture audio here and this shape right here, like a brain shape, okay? But that is the, this, the, the, that is the, the volume or level uh, values from 25 dBs all the way to 5 dBs. What it means is this is going to be uh, very, very... Um, low, so when we talk very loud, it won't be affecting the audio because it's quite low on, on the number, minus 25 decibels. Every recording that we're going to do here, it needs to be negative 12. The audio needs to be on the level of negative 12. Every recording that we do, so you need to be very careful that that is the audio level that, and you will see it as soon as you put your audio into your timeline when we talk about uh, close to get to the video editing. So we have cardio microphones and we have, now we have down here, we have, uh, this is an omni microphone. An omni microphone is because uh, its direction is all over the place. I can just 
this one can be, a, this one uh, actually, this one here is an omni microphone. I know, it's very interesting. This one, you don't need an, an XLR cable, which this is an XLR cable. I will talk to it in a few minutes. It needs a USB cable. You plug it into your computer and you record. Okay, and this can record all around. Okay. Record from left, right, back, and the front. So that is an omni microphone. Uh, with these ones, we can control the ambient noise. It has a switch. By the way, this one has a small switch right up front somewhere. has a switch in the back, actually. And we can, uh, we can actually turn the, the ambience from the back and we leave some the front or just the front and turn the back and so forth. So that is a Omni microphone. Let's move on. And lastly, we have bi-directional. Okay, this is a bi-directional microphone. Okay, these microphones actually the, this can um, go, uh, this one is an omni microphone. Actually, this is a directional microphone, okay, uh, condenser. Another type of microphone like this one, uh, it can be um, directional, dual directional from the back and the front, means here and here. Whenever that we are working in, uh, in um, any interview, don't fall asleep, man. Come on. Come on, relax. Go, go. So uh, whenever that we're going to work on an interview, we need to make sure that we picked up the, pro the proper and correct microphone. It needs to be uh, a directional uh, microphone, no omni-directional, uh, all dual directional mic, because we don't want... Uh, we don't want our microphone to pick up any, but any other noises anyway, or sounds, just ours. Just our voice and no other voices around. So we have, so the, in recapping, okay, we have uh, Omni mics, we have uh, cardio microphones, we have um, bi-directional mics, and then we have a, okay, let's see what a dynamic microphone is. Um, this right here is a dynamic microphone, okay? Uh, this one is, this, um, this one is not a ribbon, obviously, but, um, it especially is for singing or or uh, a dialogue. Okay, uh, these microphones are very, very uh, the most popular mics in the planet. Especially a sure microphone. This one, these microphones originally came in the seventies. So um, that one. Uh, because of the demand on the market, uh, the company is still making that microphone. And by, uh, by the way, you're going to see uh, that we have two in our studio. Uh, let me go pick it up very quickly. Okay. Um, this, this one right here is a dynamic microphone. Its brand name is Sure, uh, this one right here. Um, one of the most, like I said, one of the most popular microphones. Believe me, this thing right here, can, it might probably can be used as a, uh, as a tool, you know, a defensive tool, just in case this thing is hard. It's pure metal and it's hard. So this is a dynamic microphone, can be utilized for singing or dialogue it, uh, itself. So let's... Let's talk about the condenser ones just for a bit, okay? Condenser microphone. This one right here, used in a studio. 
And one of the reasons we use condenser mics is because uh, it come in, because they are better on picking up the audio so uh, with so much detail. It comes with a large diaphragm or a small diaphragms. This one has a large diaphragm in here, okay? While this one is a condenser microphone, has a small diaphragm right inside. So we have two types of condenser mics and in class. Typically, the large one condenser have more well-rounded frequencies to respond. So uh, when we talk about frequencies, and I will, what I'm going to do is, let me, um, let me just mute this for a moment. I'm going to uh, get this thing up in here and grab my Sharpie. And I'm going to just do a graph of what the audio is, okay? Low frequencies. And it's going to be from 25 hertz, okay? And then we can go to 8,000 kilohertz. And uh, most likely, let me put this one. Oops. Oh, Lordy. Uh, most likely, let's go here. Uh, 4K, 8K, and then we go to 21K hertz. So, we, as humans or ears, can capture most likely from uh, maybe uh, 80 hertz. And you know what? Let me just let me just make sure that I'm gonna say this right, okay? Um, because we have a very limited uh, audio capture or ears themselves. Our ears can pick up from 20 hertz all the way to 20,000 hertz. Now, what actually is a hertz? Hertz is and when the audio goes 360 degrees. So if if this if this audio went uh, 20 turns, so to speak, on the loop, that is 20 hertz. <laughs> you can actually, you know, do this 20 hertz. That is the speed. But if I want, let's go and find what is a 20 hertz actually. Uh, example, uh, I'm going to do it again. Look at this number. I heard 70 up. I stop at 10,000. I cannot hear no more. Do you were able to hear after 10,000? Not me anymore. And one of the reasons is because, like I, like I mentioned in the beginning, remember, uh, I, I used to do audio, a lot of live audio mixing, and it was so loud. So while being loud, the drum, the drum ear got damaged. So something that I would like to just point out in, in parentheses to you is, if you are wearing your earbuds all the time, make sure you don't have it in a very high volume. Have it at least 20% on your, on your telephone volume. Okay, don't, don't, don't just get it more. So that is a uh, ribbon cable, I mean a ribbon 
um, a ribbon microphone, this one right here. It's similar to this one right here, but this one is a condenser microphone, okay? Uh, this, is, this is maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe 150 bucks microphone. That one, it might be more than, I don't know, $1,000 or so. So um, that is a ribbon microphone, okay? So um, that's another example of a ribbon microphone. How to pick from the type of microphone that you need, okay? Uh, that, is, that, is, that is something very important to do. Uh, remember, we talk about that every microphone is going to have its own, its own diaphragm, diaphragm pattern, okay? Uh, even that would be omni, cardio, um, super cardio, or bidirectional or directional mic. But that will be for the type of application that you're going to have. Any questions? Questions? Come on, guys. All right. No questions. I have a few more mics that I want to show. Um, this one right here. This one, this little thing in here is a lavalier, actually, a type of lavalier mic. Oh, no, hold on. Let me show you the real lavalier mic is instead, okay? This one right here, this baby thing in here, that is a lavalier microphone, okay? This is called a lavalier mic. Do you actually... Put it right on your shirt or blouse, and that's the way it goes. Okay? This little microphone needs electricity. Okay? As soon as I plug it into the, to the, to the soundboard or to the camera, I need to send how many volts? It's more than 48. 48 volts. Thank you. We need to actually pump 48 volts to this thing here in order to work. 48 volts. So I know it sounds very crazy that I, what I'm going to say, but when this is plugged into a camera or to a soundboard, don't put it on your mouth, okay? Because it's, you're going to be shocked. 48 volts, are, they're shocked. You know, especially when you put it in sensible parts like your lips or your tongue, you're just going to have a chalk. And your brain going to have a chalk. You're going to be, you're going to get a scare. So this is a lavalier microphone with the need of phantom power. Now, let's talk about this one then. This one itself is not necessarily a lavalier mic. But as if you see, I am using one in here to capture the audio on that camera. So this is a microphone, a lav type microphone. We have two mics on this particular set. These microphones are especially utilized for interviews, uh, news presentation, uh, one receiver, it will capture the two microphones. So if I need, if you need someone as an interview, you will have your own mic, and the interviewer will have another microphone. It will be captured or received by this in here. Okay? Uh, these are very expensive little microphones. So whenever that you will use these microphones, I will expect that you will actually treat them very carefully. I, it's, a lot of money here. So we have a, uh, we have a, a directional mic. We have a uh, bidirectional mic. Two sides. This is only one. This is two sides of the mic. It can be used on uh, uh, as a boom. This one is a dynamic microphone. Can be as a, actually a directional microphone for singing or talking. We have a omni. What is an omni means? 
So, lavalier mics, omnidirectional microphone. This is a condenser um, omnidirectional microphone as well, this one here. And this one has a switch somewhere that I can actually tweak the audio from being from the front or all, all the back or all, all around. This one in here, okay? Um, and going back, this is a lavalier microphone. Lavalier microphones are most, they're gonna be directional, only one direction, right on the top where I talk, okay? We need how many bolts? 48 bolts, yes, very. And um, we have this package right here, always goes in his little pouch. Um, this guy needs 48 bolts as well. And this one as well needs 48 bolts. This needs a, those, uh, the voltage in order to work on your camera. Okay, so uh, I believe I covered that in there. But I have a few more things. Uh, all right, I'm going to print something in here for you. This is, um, this is the, and it states the many types of microphones that we have uh, available for broadcasting, okay? But this is the one that we need. Whenever that you have an assignment to do, you're going to need either this microphone, this microphone, or this microphone in here. Okay? This, is, this work for a single application. To talk on camera and interview, these microphones will do the work. Let's say that we want to do an um, a audio from a boom uh, perspective. I'm going to show you quickly. What actually is a boom uh, that, is that can be utilized uh, for um, application is to record more than one person on that, on that scene. So you put a microphone right here, and let's put this mic, which this mic is not, I'm just going to put it here for example, but this is not the mic that we use in here. Okay, this is the microphone that we use in here. And because the microphone bracket is not the same size of the mic itself, obviously will fall. Okay, so I'm going to use this microphone as an example only. And this is how, uh, how this one, I have better zoom, this one. And if I'm going to record uh, uh, you know, more than one person, this is how I will have the audio boom mic, okay? So um, I will have more brackets, especially for the microphones that we need to, do, to utilize. Um, there is gonna be assignments that I'm gonna ask you, okay? Uh, on your audio application, I need you to use a boom microphone instead of uh, a handheld mic. Handheld is because right here on the hand, that is obvious. Uh, right here as well. And this one as well. Uh, this one is a studio. You can't just be with a microphone. I saw a video uh, on, I think it was on YouTube, with the guy actually had this type of microphone outdoors. Very risky because this one is very susceptible to just capture a lot of audio. So it needs to be equalized very well. So if they did it, because I, I, heard, the, I heard the audio coming from that mic itself, and it did a good job. So this one is to utilize in a podcast or studio. Um, I'm gonna show you in a few seconds the studio uh, podcast that, that we have. Not every microphone is going to be the same thing, and it can, any microphone can be utilized in any application, period. Can I use any microphone anywhere or any application? False or true? False. Yeah, every mic has its own app. By the way, before I go into this, 
I wanted to show you another condenser microphone. Okay, this is a condenser mic. It's utilized especially for podcasting, audio dialogue only. Okay, uh, in a studio setting, could be used for singing, but it, re it will require a very quiet room for the best equalization possible. So another condenser. And if you probably will serve, I'm gonna put a picture exactly on, on canvas of this, uh, of this microphone itself because it has a, a, a good number of switches right in the back and is for uh, decibels uh, level, the, the frequency that we want to cover and uh, if we want the microphone to be cardio or super cardio of Omni, etc., etc., this is an awesome microphone. Believe me, for podcasting, this is the best we got. So, um, something that we will like to utilize is, well, at least to try, is the proper microphone for the proper app. So, Shot, a shotgun microphone. This is a shotgun mic. Look at right here. This is a shotgun mic. Uh, a lavalier microphone is this tiny baby microphone here. This is a lavalier microphone. This one right here, which this one requires 48 volts phantom power in order to work. A lavalier mic. Okay, and then we have uh, handheld microphones. This one right here is one. This one right here is, there are at least the two types of handheld mics that I have, okay? Uh, and then we have, well, boundary microphones. I don't have anything in here, but those are utilized, especially in theatrical um, situations where they want to actually pick up uh, plenty of audio from all around that area for presentations, for plays and theater and that kind of stuff. Is It will be a quite flat little device about this uh, tall, about this long, and it will is a microphone with a very wide diaphragm to pick audio from all over the place. Uh, headset microphones. I do have one. I do have a headset mic, which we utilize on the podcasting as well. And let me uh, have it for you there in a moment. Okay, uh, this right here is a headset, headset microphone. And the reason they call it headset because most of them, they're going to have, they're going to have audio uh, for recording and for actually playback or uh, hearing as well, so I can plug headphones and I can hear to the uh, headphones and, and this is my headphone port and this is my microphone part. So I can talk and I can hear myself in here, okay? These ones are utilized as well for podcasting situation uh, and the, the, as that one right there. This type of mic d does not require uh, 48 uh, bolts for phantom power. They don't. Okay, and then we have, and those are, uh, those are headset microphones. Uh, parabolic microphones, well, we don't have those because they are so large and they are so big anyways. These parabolic microphones are utilized at the sport and the sport environment, for, for example, in big fields, when they actually want to capture uh, at least 20 to 40 feet away, what is it the, uh, the referee talking with the players there? So they can utilize those microphones to pick up that audio from that quite distance. Uh, ribbon microphones, we talk, those ribbon microphones, similar to this one right here, okay, similar to this one. Those are very expensive, utilized on a studio recordings, uh, where they're going to be either for singing or mo mostly for singing than talking. 
wireless microphones. Yes, we have uh, this, uh, this type of microphones, which sort of lavalier mics, but they are wireless mics right here. Okay, these are wireless mics. And then we have carbon uh, microphone button microphones. This is very old technology. I, uh, I never seen one. I never had one of those on my hands because they are very, very uh, old. And they might be probably in a museum. Okay, so they are utilized li like these ones right here, that ribbon microphone, those might be similar to it. So, uh, those are the mics of, that we have, the type of microphones that we uh, actually, most we have in here in class, uh, except ribbon, parabolic microphones, which we don't have those in here uh, as well. So, any questions? You got it. Good. So, there is an exit ticket that we have time to go and work this out, please, and that is uh, on, uh, on Canvas. There is an exit ticket, and then I want you to go work on it, and uh, you will be actually, uh, um, you will be free to get your notes out, okay? Uh, no, no, the paper that I gave you, no, this, no, this sheet that I gave you here, no, uh, you're going to get your own uh, the one notes that you took, okay? All right, so log into Canvas, please. And uh, um, for the ones watching the video, any question that you might have more, okay, just send me an email and, uh, and I can just get to you as uh, soon as possible. And this concludes our lesson uh, about the types of microphones.